Hello everyone, Prince Korea, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64 with the Crystal Shards. Last time we def we conquered Aqua Star, and now we're moving on to Neo Star, one of my favorite planets in this game. Cause it, well, cause it's actually jungle themed, but it's kind of oh, got my buttons backwards already. It's kind of that one level that is actually ooh. It's actually a level that I like in the sense that it it uh. What the heck is it? It actually... This actually does start, feel like it's the start of where things get difficult. Yep. Yeah. Because, you know, they're going to start setting traps for you now, I believe. Get ready to jump. But yeah. Like, things start to get difficult, and the game's just going to start, like, killing... It's going to... Ooh. Hi! <laughs> the game's going to, like, start... Or stop, start, stop showing you mercy. Kind of case in point. But they're going to start pulling tricks on you to see if you're paying attention. Like here's, okay, now I believe there is a hole we want to open. It's not the one with the ice cream, it's the one with, uh, with nothing. Because there's a crystal shard. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to go for that ice cream and fly back out because traps. No, I don't even know why I have rock. I actually don't know why I want rock. I just picked up rock out of habit. Because, like, I like a lot of the abilities that come with rock. Ooh. Actually, can I have... Actually, I would like you. I would like you, and I want your friend. Okay, maybe I don't want your friend immediately. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to go down. Just had a brain fart, and remember that the second crystal shard is at the bottom of this. So there's no like, at least in this, at least in this level, there's no, hey, you need to get this power up kind of dealy. Come here, you. There, I'm gonna take double fire and be threat. Just terrifying to look at, which is basically the overall overarching plan, right? Uh, I cannot hit you. Look like a phoenix. Is that what that power is supposed to be? Just that I'm a phoenix? I will raise you like a phoenix. You missed. You missed. You still missed. Oh, yeah. And then the last one's going to be here in this little vine section, which is yeah, it's kind of an interesting place to put it. Okay, get up here. Oh. Uh, I could use you, Vine. Have some Danky King in my day. Back in my day, every game was Danky King. Even Danky King was Danky King. Don't ask. If you have to ask, it's it might be a little too weird. <laughs> Just gonna say it. Anyway. Go up a little bit, grab this guy, and then... Or was it in this area, or was it... Huh. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I mean, that's fine, I can... Press jump and you not recognize my input. Oh! Okay, we're just gonna do this. Shoom. Oh. Fire? Run away? <laughs> and run in towards them. Let's get out of here. Anyway. Oh, this is the part I was thinking. Okay. I got my Aries mixed up. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. I'm going to forget things very easily. Okay, this place kind of sucks. Uh, well, at least not right now, but keep your eye up on the top. Like, the game is playing a trick on your eyes to make you not notice things, but keep your eye on the top for... That's where your crystal shard is. Now, this game is a jerk in that it makes falling platforms. Really fast falling platform, too, if you're not paying attention. And then since you have all three crystal shards, you can just go mad with this invincibility candy. God, I love this music. You know, this is the kind of music that I... This is the kind of thing that, like... Because I always think, like, try to think, you know, what game music do I should I use for ringtones? Or what video game music would I use for uh, an alarm clock? This is one of those ringtones I would use, actually. Kirby 64 invincibility. Probably get your ass out of bed in a damn hurry. Here! Got it. Don't know how, but I got it. Alright. Well, with pure flaw flawless execution, 
This level, we need D to meet A. Okay, hold left. I believe it's on the left. Yep, there it is. Hold left. Get yourself the first crystal shard level. I'm going to throw this away because I don't want it anymore. But, the but as soon as you're done falling, welcome to the first part, which is a minecart. I have to remember, the second crystal shard will either be on the upper path or the lower path here. And unfortunately, I don't remember what. But yeah, just... Just like Aquastar. It's a minecart. You can... You, you're kind of on autopilot for the most part. Just be ready to jump. Now I'm trying to... Okay. Uh, go down. Watch me on the top path. On I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna purposely die. It's on the top path. No more jumping for me. Fall in hole. Fall in hole and perish, please. I can't believe it. I'm actually trying not to jump, but the game is taking pity on me. Ouch. Is there actually a point where you can no longer, like, die in this level? Really? Oh my god, there is. Well, seeing as it's so quick to get to, and we'll, we'll, we'll experiment now. Do I keep on with Chris? Okay, I do. I'll meet you back in that room. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? The upper path is the one we want. Upper path. Hop in, Waddle Dee! drive this thing man you know I gotta say in this game other than one aspect we'll get to later in this game you know the fact that Waddle Dee helped you through so much I was I was I have been I died I was dying for so long to have the opportunity to play as Waddle Dee at some point and then what happens like 10 years later to my to my happiness and astoundment Waddle Dee is playable in Kirby Return to Dreamland and in, and in Rainbow Curse. Waddle Dee is just playable. That makes me so happy, dude. Oops. Well, I already forgot about that. I'm going to die. Good thing I got that extra life while I was falling through the first area. But yeah, it's just... I really wanted to play as Waddle Dee in like, the main part of this game. And then Waddle Dee appears... Waddle Dee appears as a character in the, uh, in the main part of... Appears as a, as a playable character, or at least... Oh! You cannot jump on that! Okie dokie! Here, have some of this. Hi, frog. I cannot destroy you, okay. But yeah. Long story short, Waddle Dee is playable in Return to Dreamland, and that makes me stoked. Because Waddle Dee is amazing. Frogman. Okay, well that was fun while it lasted. I don't even know what was what was go. Ooh, well good thing I got food earlier. Oh, playing with fire. Playing with fire in this in this world. I wonder if that's a challenge actually. They like no power of Kirby and run through the thing. Okay, this is a little bit of saving grace if I'm thinking it works like I like I think it does. Because eventually, as we go through a little bit through this, ah, these enemies. I think you swallow these. Nope, they do not recover health. I thought these ones recovered health, but I guess I'm misinformed. So we just gotta be careful. Careful through the cannon fire. <laughs> I managed to jump on top of the cannonball and die. Only Mario's allowed to do that, apparently. Jumping cannonballs? That's a Mario only thing. I'm gonna jump in a pit. If that's okay with you, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in a pit. I guess if we move fast enough, we can avoid all this. Don't hit me. Don't hurt me. Eh. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm lovable. And small. And... the Kind of a cool dude? Okay, I may be not a cool dude, but at least I'm lovable and small. Okay, here we go. Now we can actually get some actual power-ups. Besides you, Mr. Krayab. Mr. Krayab. Alright, so we need rock, rock, and bomb. Could you leave me alone for a second? Oh, there we go. There's, there's some food at least. Oh wait, is this the one level? Oh no, I think I know what this is. 
This is like the one level that... This is like the one level that it doesn't have the power-up you need in the stage. You actually have to go to another stage and come back. So all my work was for naught, because there's the part right there we need the thing for. So that's the case, I'm going to have to like backtrack to another planet and get it. Can I just have this? <laughs> okay, well that's fine. What if I just slide? Can I just slide kill? Yeah. Do a slide kill like everyone. Watch, now Now this area ahead of us is going to have every power up I need. Fortunately, this guy does not give it. Which means I may have to go back to... I have to remember what level would have it, but I'd have to go back to a previous level and find it. Anyway, this area sucks, because you can because these are instant kill if they happen to catch you. The 1-up is tempting, but only get it if you're like on top of the platform first and then come down. There you go. <laughs> Nervous on a whole new level. Can you come down, please? Well, it's the way out. Dang it, that means I have to go find it. Cause... So the power-up was nowhere in this level. That's unfortunate. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to go digging through a level or two and find the power-up we need. I'm. Pre... Was there a bomb in here? I don't think there was. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go back to Aquastar, because luckily you can go back to your other planets. I have to go back through Aquastar in a place that I know had my combo. I think it was, oddly enough, this place? No, it was the river. Yeah, it was over. Okay, I'm gonna get my power up and then I'll meet you back in that room. It's a long room, too. Okay, so here we are. Ooh! Don't touch me. Crap! Damn it! So, unfortunately, doing doing this is kind of a slow and ar Ooh, arduous process. Thank you, Crab. Because you have to hope that either enemies hit your dynamite or just wait for the fuse to run out. Dynamite, stupid powerful, risky! Blow up, blow it up, thank you. Ugh. I actually can't wait to be rid of this. Ugh. Blow up, please. Oh my god, I have to redo all that because of how the enemies are. Okay, let's try this once again. I'm now going to stop trying to encounter enemies because I can't even hurt most of them. Except when they're stationary like this because I can drop it right in the head and get them out of the way. Okay, that just happened to work out nicely. Okay, we're almost there. Even the game knows this sucks. Game, please take pity on me. You know what I have to go through right now. Catch! So you have to learn the trajectory of the projectile before you can, you're allowed to use it. Oh, that's in water. That's going to take a while to blow up. Slowest thing ever. Uh, uh, panic moment. I'm going to just get down here and cover. Didn't do it. Okay. So, I'm going to throw it at you and hope this reaches the wall behind me. Because, man, the explosion radius. Anyway, there's your crystal shard. Let us never speak of this power perver again and leave. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Kirby64 with the Crystal Shard. Share it back here next time. We'll go through mountains. I'll see you folks then.